In this video, we're going to look at creating a project parameter. So in your Manage tab, you have three options for parameters, project parameter, shared parameter, and global parameters. And we're just going to look at project parameters. So if we open project parameter, this allows us to create a property attached to a particular category or a series of categories within your Revit project. So just to clarify, a parameter can be inspected by selecting an object. On the left hand side, these are known as your parameters. So we can create different types of parameters. These are default or proprietary parameters, or we can create type parameters within here as well, such as fire rating, manufacturer, cost, or any specific parameter that you want to create that's custom to this particular project. So we can see by default, we've got quite a series of parameters that are already created in here, such as the cost, type comments, manufacturer, model, type mark, but we can in fact create our own. If we wanted to create a color parameter, for example, for all of our doors, we could go into our manage tab, go to project parameters, go to add, we're going to call this color. We want to make this a instance parameter so that each door will be different. Leave it as a project parameter. It will be a text. We can group it under text and where you group it is how it appears on your properties tab on the left hand side. And we only want to apply it to doors. If we select anything else such as floors, casework, ceilings, then that color parameter will also apply to that particular category of objects. So we're just going to create it for doors. Just going to click OK. Click OK. Now, when I select a door in my project, that particular parameter will be applied. So I will select a door in a floor plan. Here we have a door. And we can see the instance parameter is now applied in here. So I can now name this door as white. And apply. But I could also select this door. And I can call it plain finish. This particular door, I might want this to be a high gloss. So we've created three different parameters at the instance level. So if I select a table, for example, that parameter does not exist in here under furniture. But I can, in fact, go into my project parameters, go into modify color. And if I want to apply this then to my furniture, click OK. Click OK. Now when I select the table, the color parameter now applies to that particular piece of furniture. If I was to select a wall, for example, you can see that the parameter is not applied to the wall because we didn't select it in the category options. So that's how you apply a custom project parameter to a particular category or set of categories within your Revit project. 